Welcome to LabRoS, your solution for designing and manufacturing clothing. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of using LabRoS to start a design, create samples, and place bulk orders. First of all, make sure to have all necessary files ready. Your graphic designs, as vectorized files, reference pictures, and your cutting patterns in case you have any. Your request will only be processed when filled out correctly. So let's get into it. Log in to your LabRoS account. Navigate to the Start Design section. Begin by selecting your desired garment, type, and style. For the fit, you can select one of the pre-engineered fits or edit the measurement chart directly in the software. For the sizes that you don't want to make, fill out the cells with zeros. If you have a pattern already, upload it here as a DXF file. You can directly export DXF cutting patterns from Clo3D. Choose your fabric type and composition. Always remember to press Save and Next for the colorway. Select the color or specify your desired color with a Pantone TCX code. As standard, we use reactive dyes. But if you want to have a vintage look to it, select Fade Out Dye. Check out Pantone Connect to find your TCX code. When it comes to the neck labels, you can select between label on the back and inseam loop label. You can choose between polyester, woven, or a cotton canvas label. Woven labels have an MOQ of 1000 pieces and can be done in the given 18 different colors. Make sure to comment if your logo is in a different color than the provided file. Cotton canvas labels are our most sustainable option and have an MOQ of 200 pieces. They are only available in a canvas colorway. For your logo, upload it here. Make sure that your logo is black or white. Care label. Do the same for the care label. The care label will be stitched inside your shirt around the waistline. Design 1. To add customizations like prints, embroideries, etc., download our design template here. Edit the template preferably in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to follow these rules when uploading your designs. Indicate logo colors with Pantone TCX codes. Indicate positioning with distance measurements. Make sure your designs are vectorized. Upload the files here, so if you have a design you want to do, make sure to use the template correctly, else we won't process your request. For blanks, you can skip this part. Design 2. Now you can select the stitching style or a sun fade. If you don't need that, you can skip this part. Always use a comment box if you have additional details to share. Packaging. For packaging, you can choose between an unbranded poly bag or unpackaged delivery. Quantity. Select if you want a sample product. Samples are individual prototypes of your design for testing and approval. For basic styles, it can make sense to skip the sampling to save costs and time. Type in your desired bulk order quantity so we can quote correctly. You're not obligated to go into bulk production if you're not happy with your sample. Input shipping and billing addresses and you're good to go. Now here to your project. Now as your design got submitted, the LabR team checks on everything to create a quote for you within the next three days. If you have any questions in the meantime, check out the chat section. Here you might also find questions that we have for you in case we need additional information from you. When the quote is ready, you'll get a notification and find the document in the payment section. Be aware that once you've accepted the quote, you've officially placed the order and are obligated to pay the invoice. You'll receive your invoice in the next 24 hours after accepting your quote. Pay within the next 10 days to get production started, else your order gets cancelled. As soon as we have received your payment, production starts, and you'll be able to track progress through the execution section. Hope you guys enjoy the platform. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to reach out.